Oh, why not? Let's go for another watercolor technique. It's not actually watercolor technique and I didn't invent it for those of you who are wondering, but I really love it. It's Asia Marke here, Lemon Creation. Welcome to my channel. Uh, later on, I'm gonna explain uh, why the beginning of this uh, video is uh, done the way it is and why did I said uh, what I said but for now let me just uh, start by showing you the products I'm gonna be working with so uh, this is Artgraph uh, it's a tailor-made chalk and it's super cool and it behaves a little like a watercolor or a lot uh, like a watercolor I wouldn't know because I'm not watercolor expert <laughs> and um, but it dilutes really nicely with water and it gives a very very nice chalk finish so it's actually a, a little bit maybe like a gauche but not really also it's very very weird but really nice to work with and because it's made in the form of this kind of uh, squares uh, rectangles rather it's a uh, very funny to work with it you can of course use it with the brush but you do not have to you can uh, use it with uh, just your, ha your hand and kind of write with it so i'm using canon uh, no canson xl watercolor paper and in the small palette in the left hand side um, on the left hand side of the screen you can see the um, my own watercolors i made uh, by mixing some watercolors which are coming from the tubes and uh, yes this is my kind of earthy tone palette so after uh, <laughs> trying very hard to get the uh, small chalk uh, out of the box, which is the hardest part of this box, uh, of this process probably even, um, I decided to add a little bit of water to the paper and uh, do not judge me once again, I'm kind of doing the same uh, shape. I mean, the shape is uh, maybe unconsciously in my head somewhere, but uh, at the same time, um, I don't know, I don't do that many abstracts and I'm still um, trying to find my way to do them correctly. So uh, I find that <laughs> some of my pages are really uh, almost, um, if it comes to the shape, uh, they are similar one to the other. But I am planning on changing that. <laughs> it's just, you know, I have to stop thinking, I think. So this is one of the way you can use this uh, beautiful uh, art graph chalk and yes you can put it like flat completely which I did at the beginning and I add water before to the page. I didn't have to, I could have add water uh, later also so you can kind of write with it and then add water but that's what I was thinking to do and as you can see you can make uh, such a uh, like tiny uh, thin lines also if you want and it's really nice the way it uh, actually reacts with water like watercolors uh, to me it's like watercolors with small small changes uh, but it's pleasure to work with and it's something completely different and this is not a publicity of any kind because i actually bought this art graph with my own money but look guys at this uh, right hand corner of the uh, paper it looks so so nice like when it reacts with water i really like that it does have this chalky finish so why did i start my video the way i started <laughs> saying that it's a watercolor technique but not really and i didn't invent it because i've been getting some comments not that many and they actually do not bother me they actually uh, uh, kind of make me smile uh, one of the comments were, oh, was about the fact that I'm using cheap uh, watercolors, which are not even watercolors. Then there was the, the other comment under my uh, previous video. What do you, what are you going with this? And uh, by the way, watercolor stamping is not new. What am I going with it? Uh, I am trying to enjoy myself. I'm trying to find my way of... Um, my way of creating, my way, uh, way of um, finding the peace in me and at the same time I am trying to show you the techniques and the uh, 
the ways of doing things and I am really hard trying to show you that you do not need to be perfect and that it's so cool to experiment and if the things don't go the way you would like it doesn't matter if, and if there are people who do not appreciate what you do it doesn't matter at all as well I mean I don't mind working with cheap uh, watercolor paints. Uh, I cannot afford the, um, uh, the expensive ones. And seriously, I do not need because what I'm doing is for me. I'm not selling it. This is just my expression of uh, what I feel like, what I fancy doing. Uh, and as you know, if you are not new to my channel, I do different things. I do art journaling uh, before I did some mixed media, like really big mixed media pieces. But mostly now I do art journaling. I do ATC cards and I'm starting to do a little bit of watercolor. But what I hate or maybe hate is too strong a word. I don't want to use it. But what I don't like is that um, I don't want to be put in a box uh, labeled watercolor artist or watercolor or whatever crafter. I am me. That's just, it's that simple. And then, yes, there are some techniques which I've never seen and they, I managed to create them. It doesn't mean that they do not exist on internet. They probably do. Why wouldn't they? But I am not, uh, uh, it's not in my power to watch all the videos, to know all the techniques. And what I'm trying to tell you that it's sometimes if somebody tells you something about your art and about the way you do your art or about the products you use, just don't pay too much attention to that. It's like it is. You're doing your best. I'm doing my best. And I'm not going to be stressed by people who are thinking that they know better or they would like to label me uh, or uh, they are not happy with what I'm doing. If you are not, find another channel to watch. And it's as simple as that. So with this uh, page today, I just wanted to show you that I'm gonna be doing things like I'm doing and I do not mind and I hope you don't mind as well and this is really my big wish for all of you that you just create freely without any restraints without any labels so this is very 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 personal uh, part of this video I didn't even speed the process because I just wanted to share with you these small things and thank you for all of you who are defending me in the comments because this is so nice also that you feel the same way and I do appreciate that. For those of you who are with me since the beginning, you know that I started doing uh, art, well, craft, because I kind of feel like I'm in between. I'm like a crafter, uh, not a crafter and not an artist. And so I kind of feel like in between, but there is no word for that. So, <laughs> so sometimes I'm saying crafter, sometimes I'm saying artist, but it's not really how I feel. But I started this... Uh, art adventure or craft adventure uh, when my dad died and when I was so heartbroken that I just didn't know what to do with myself and this is that this is just the essence of what I do I do that to to be happy and it brings me such a pleasure that you are here and that you are watching and that you are supporting me so guys that's gonna be enough you know that doesn't happen very often that I'm sharing so much of personal feelings with you. But today I thought I am gonna. And coming back to my page. Uh, I don't know if you've noticed, but this looks like a dog. <laughs> I love dogs. I so much, so love dogs. But I mean, this wasn't, uh, this wasn't supposed to happen. It was not supposed to be a dog at all. And so I am trying to change it as much as I can. And um, I use this uh, embossing powder. It's a very special embossing powder from Ranger. It's a mixed media powder. It has, it's not really, it has some kind of um, particles in it, which I don't know even what it is exactly. Kind of brownish. But um, I use it and I didn't use any embossing ink pad because uh, if your paint is not dry, you can use embossing powder on it because uh, embossing powder is going to stick the, um, to the paint. And also you can uh, use embossing powder with water. The only thing which I keep on repeating is that if you use water, the water is not going to give you the same adherence as the uh, embossing pad would give you because it's a gluey thing. It's with glycerin inside. So it's, you know, 
it's holding the powder. Water, it holds momentarily, but when it's dry, the powder will fall, fall off. So what you need to do is you need to actually um, take your heat gun, put it on the lowest setting and start heating your page from underneath. Like that, the uh, powder has a time to settle with water and actually stick to the paper. And you know that if you have embossing ink pad or even a dabber or even an uh, embossing pen, you will not be able to do a splatter as nicely as you can do it with the brush and a little bit of water. And as you can see, I'm adding a little bit of the paint from my palette. And uh, it's a kind of turquoise, but it's mixing up with the uh, brown on the page. So it changes a little uh, the color, it gets a little bit darker, uh, which is fine also. But like that, I have this kind of connection uh, between the paint and the embossing powder and they are uh, more or less the same color. And so here I have a problem. <laughs> and um, this, is actually, um, this is actually a major problem of mine. I cannot find a good uh, white pen, I mean, until now, I was very happy with the Signo or uh, Gel Roll-On, I think it's called, but not anymore. They are getting, uh, I don't know, increasingly worse. I don't know if it's a production which changed or what changed. Uh, I am having problems to draw with them on the uh, paints. And so guys, look at that. <laughs> if I was a professional, perfect artist, I would bother. I don't. <laughs> Uh, but um, I really, I don't know what's happening, why, if it's because, you know, it's kind of a chalky uh, finish paint, but lately it doesn't matter, you know, they are just not writing really well. Even on the normal black piece of paper, if I want to write with the white uh, pen, I am having really big problems. Um, I still didn't discover anything which would come close and which would be good enough. And I know they are these acrylic ones which have a small balls inside and you have to just shake it and I just hate them. I really, I, I always have problems with them. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. Uh, so it is not perfect and some of the lines are not very visible, but well, you know me. I leave it like that. I love the idea of the uh, line drawing and uh, I really enjoy that. Uh, a little bit of pity that, you know, the pen didn't, pen, pen didn't write very well, but at the same time I said to myself, it's actually a, it kind of looks more organic, more, you know, like sinking into the background. So I'm gonna leave it at that. And that would be all for today's video. Uh, I hope you still enjoyed it. Um, I hope it wasn't too long. <laughs> And I didn't speak too much, but I just wanted to share a little bit with you. So you know me also from the more personal um, kind of side. And uh, as always, thank you so much for subscribing. Um, thank you for checking my shop. You're going to find the list in the description box below, uh, as well with the list of products I use in this video and my favorite products as well. And um, I really hope I'm going to see you in the next video. Uh, I'm waiting for your comments and have a beautiful crafty day. Bye bye.